Hello guys! Today, we will learn what are physical and chemical changes. Changes take place all the time. Matter undergoes different changes. And changes can be classified into two types. Physical change and chemical change. Physical changes are the changes that change the form or the physical appearance of matter and do not change the amount of matter in an object. Now, let's see some example of physical change. Here, I have a cube of ice. Let it stay for some time and it will melt. So it changed from solid state to liquid state. Melting is a physical change. A change that turned ice into water. Let's have another example. Sharpening a pencil. If a pencil is sharpened, only its shape is changed or physical appearance of the object is changed. Also, the amount of matter is not changed. Only some amount of matter is separated from the pencil apart. So, it's a physical change. Let's have another example. Crumpling of a paper is a change that changed the shape of a paper. If an apple is cut into slices, only the shape of an apple is changed. Also, the amount of matter is not changed. Only the object is divided into some part. Now, Let's learn about chemical changes. Chemical changes are those changes that change in the amount of matter in an object. And some new type of matter is formed that looks entirely different from the original matter. Let's do some example of chemical change. If a piece of paper is burned, it changes to ash. That is some new type of matter is formed. That is ash, which looks exactly different from the original matter that is the paper. Let's have another example. Candle. When you light a candle, the size of the candle reduces with time. Then, the amount of matter is getting reduced and you cannot convert back to its original size. So it's a chemical change. Let's have another example. When we cook an egg, new look of egg appears and this change cannot be reversed. That is why you cannot convert cooked egg back to uncooked form. So it's a chemical change. Let's have another example. Rotting banana is a chemical change because it's not reversible and it involves changing the bonds of chemicals in the banana. The resulting banana rotten is chemically different than the initial non-rotten banana. That is why it is a chemical change. Today, we learned about physical changes and chemical changes. Remember, no new substance is formed in the physical change, while a new substance is formed in a chemical change. And that's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Bye!